We are negotiating with the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Here we go. What's up, my reactors? We got ourselves the finale to Ahsoka episode 8. What do you guys think about this season? Sound off in the comments down below. For me, I've enjoyed every single episode so far, but now is the time. The finale. Man, oh man, I have no idea what's going to go down. I have my theories, but we shall see if they pay off. But before we dive into this reaction video, give this video a like. Thank you. Will this finale stick the landing? It's time to find out. It's time to reel it in. Starting off with a shot already. Here we go, here we go, here we go. How will this all end? Bring the Eye of Sion out of High Orbit so that we may begin the interlocking procedure. Gomscan believes they have a fix on the Jedi shuttle's location. Mm. Dispatch two TIE fighters. If they find their mark, tell them to engage. He's about ready to leave. There's little the Jedi can do to stop us now. I've watched many an Imperial officer make the same assumptions about the Rebellion. Don't underestimate. Even I fell victim to the heroics of a single Jedi. <laughs> Never again. He's learned from his mistakes. Our alliance has proven to be quite beneficial. We are grateful to you, Grand Admiral. And to you, Morgan Elspeth. Mm-hmm. She who heard our dreams across the stars. Come forward. Come forward? Anybody getting a weird feeling about this? I got a bad feeling about this. You shall be rewarded. Rewarded what? The gift of shadows. Gift of shadows? Yes, Great Mother. Do you abandon your old life for this new one? I do. Uh-oh. Your life? Your life? My loyalty. My life. She seems, like, afraid. Is she about to die? She's just like them. Whoa, this is some dark magic. Oh, that's a blade! The blade of Talson. what's gonna happen. We're gonna get that against a lightsaber. I don't think she'll survive this finale though. That's my prediction. He, Thrawn, he will. But we need that episode title, like always. It's time to reel it in. The Jedi, the Witch, and the Warlord. Ooh, Man, these episode titles have been really good, like this whole season. Well, we got the Witch. Now, which Jedi are we speaking of? Sabine, hopefully Ahsoka, Ezra, one of the three. The Warlord, obviously Thrawn. What is he making? Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Is he making his own lightsaber? He's making his own lightsaber. I have been teaching younglings how to construct right. lightsabers right, right, longer right, right, than right. you've been alive. That's great, but I don't have time for lessons right now. Oh, he doesn't need your help. Who told you how to build a lightsaber anyway? Kanan Jarrus. Exactly. He was my master. Yeah. Tell me everything I know. Will we get an appearance from Kanan? Now it all makes sense. I told you, I taught almost every youngling at the Jedi Temple, including your master. The other boy Caleb was very curious. He's been here for a long time. How old are you? Old enough to know that the relationship between a master and an apprentice is as challenging as it is meaningful. <laughs> right. Right. And for him to be that old and still, you know, look, you know, that good, it's good. I had two of those. 
Kanan took the one, the other I held onto in case he ever needed it. It is proper that you should have it. It's now yours. Ooh, everyone has their very own lightsaber. Ooh. Well done. Looks like you were a good student. One of the best. One of the best. Soka ever teach you how to... She's probably going to have the talk with Ahsoka. What happened between those two? Quite a lot. Ahsoka became afraid that Sabine was training as a Jedi for the wrong reasons after what happened on Mandalore. The Empire purged the entire surface of the planet, killing hundreds of thousands. Her family? They were all lost, sadly. At the time, Ahsoka felt that if Sabine unlocked her potential, she would become dangerous. The dark side. Sabine has her green lightsaber, Ahsoka has her dual wielding white lightsabers, and now Ezra has a blue lightsaber. Your gamble paid off. So you know. Mm -hmm. I do. She put it all together. Never thought I'd see him again. You might not have. Had you chosen differently. That's true. You're not mad? <laughs> Over the years, I've made my share of difficult choices. She's at peace with herself. Often no one understood my reasons. Except my master. Anakin Skywalker. He always stood by me. And that is what Ahsoka is going to do for Sabine. No matter what happens next, I'm going to be there for you. See? Have you kept up with your training? Hmm. Might have to, you know, fresh up on the skills for later. I have gained better control over my lightsaber. But it's not her first choice. Her lightsaber is not her first choice. That is something that I realized in the, you know, the previous episodes. Train your mind. Train your body. Trust. in the Force. If she's gonna use the Force in this episode. After struggling and learning about it, you know, at the beginning of this season. Time fire. Oh. Oh. Oh, ships. The ship is smoking. That's not good. Keep it up! Go, go! Yeah, come on, little people, get out of there. Come back, come back. On my signal. Punch it. Oh, we just ran right through them. Oh my god. They are for sure gonna be stuck here, aren't they? I mean the ship is down. How else will they be able to, you know, get back? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not getting back home. They're not going back home. Now they will have to hitch a ride with Thrawn. That's like an, an impossible mission. Got him. <laughs> yeah, with the cost of the ship. Sorry to state the obvious. This is gonna slow us down a bit. Huh, by a lot. A successful strike on the Jedi shuttle was reported before we lost contact. Consider all of the TIE fighters lost. Mark their captain for a citation. As you wish, Grand Admiral. The options to prevent that departure are now severely limited, if not impossible. Yeah. Like I said, we the mission is like impossible. Assault. Oh! Ground assault. He's sending people in. Now it's a race to fix the ship and get off this planet in time to get back home to their galaxy. May the Force be with you. Those are the volunteers. Seems like it. That's it. All oh, were honored to make the sacrifice for you. Wow. It is for the Empire, the security of our galaxy. Basically, all these guys are dead. <laughs> Whoa, look at that shot. That's crazy. Looks like we're just in time. Do not wait for me. What? Nah, we don't leave anybody behind in this episode. Let's try the front door. Really going through the front door. That's wild. Two targets incoming from the north. You know who it is. Rain hellfire upon them. Oh, oh my god. There'd be no negotiating with the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that is such a risk. Oh, whoa! Ezra, the gate. 
Gotta get closer. Help out. Sabine, help out. No way. They're right there. They're almost at the front door. Oh, it's there. Come on. Force push. Oh, that was close. Dispatch the night troopers. <laughs> the night troopers, here they come. I shall inform the great mothers. He is not happy about that. That it's time. It's time to bounce. Fall back. Draw them out. It's crazy. It's really only these three. <laughs> Sabine, blasters. Yeah, use those blasters. Go to work. Oh. There you go. Easy work. Oh, they're gonna bring them back to life. Oh my god. I I thought about this in the previous episodes. I was like, are these actual people? I'm guessing, yeah, they were actual people, but now they're being brought back to life. That's cool. And the cycle will just keep continuing. You put them down, they'll come right back up. Zombies. This never happened before. No, this is new. Lucky us. Very new. Look at them. They look like zombies. <laughs> oh, the sound. <laughs> They're making their way up the steps. Oh, nice shot. Don't shoot him. <laughs> nice. Nice moves. She's been training. Yeah, with Ahsoka. I missed you. Sounds like takeoff. Oh yeah, that's takeoff for sure. Y'all have got to get on there. But it's sad because they're leaving Hu Yang. She's gonna be the last line of defense. The Jedi are advancing swiftly. At this rate, they make it on board the ship, which you, will be. You gotta stay behind. We require a little more time. <laughs> Remember, this mission is all about time. How can they extend the time? You have got to make the sacrifice. You have got to stay behind. Like I said, I've been waiting to see this fight. That blade of yours versus that lightsaber. Guar I guarantee it. For Dathomir. I guarantee it. She's gonna go up against Ahsoka. We're gonna get a round two. <laughs> Dang, they blew the doors off. They don't look like zombies right there. <laughs> They're moving a little bit faster. Yep, here we go. Ahsoka, this is your fight. Go on, I'll handle this. Yes! <laughs> yes! Stay together, remember? You must stop Thrawn. Go, you two. She's got this. Their fight in season two of The Mandalorian was really good. Now we have round two. Whoa, the sound. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm liking this. This fight choreography is really good here. Yeah, use your blasters. Ah, uh, that won't work. Does that work? That doesn't work. Ooh. Uh, I've been waiting to see that specific shot. It was in the trailers. Take us out. Oh, snap. You gotta get on. Oh! Oh, they got some dark magic. Whoa! Ezra, use the force! Oh my god, no way! 
No way. No. No. They're gonna do it, aren't they? They're gonna do it. Whoa, look at his face! It moved! Oh! Oh my gosh, she used it. She's officially a Jedi. Ooh. And the heads will roll. Yo, she used the force. I think I called this in my other, my episode, what, two or three reaction. I said that she'll probably use it by the very end of this season. Oh. Get out of there, Ahsoka. Gotta get out. You can't make that jump. Yes, you can. What? Push you first and you pull me across. Imagine if she had, like, her jetpack. Ezra, the longer you hesitate, the harder this gets. Come on! Oh my god. Whoa! He got it. He made it. He made it. But why not push Sabine? You know what I'm saying? Sabine is the... You know, she's not as strong with the Force as Ezra is. Your turn! Ahsoka. Oh, whoa! Wow, they're not intervening. <laughs> Dang, Ahsoka. Die here. Alone. Not alone. Oh, she did not leave her behind. <laughs> Be done with her! Morgan Elsbeth is about to die. Ooh. Oh! Done. I knew it was coming. Morgan is dead. <laughs> she has done what was required. Sacrifice. Buying them time. But Ezra, you're there. 757 reinforcements have been dispatched to your position. 757 here. Copy. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Toss him off. Or, no! Ez Ezra's gonna put on the suit, just like he did in, in Rebels. Have the main batteries target the fortress for bombardment. Oh, they're gonna blow it up. Dang. Run, you two, run. What the? The ship! Hu Yang! Yeah! <laughs> ah, Hu Yang, just in time. We're in. Copy that. Hu Yang, I was worried that we, they would leave him behind. I'm so glad they did it. Now you just gotta get back, gotta get on that ship. Oh man, good timing, man. <laughs> gotta push it, gotta push it. Oh. They're not far behind, they're right there. Gotta get there before they jump. So Katano, allow me to commend you on your efforts today. You've been quite a worthy opponent. <laughs> I know you. Uh-oh. Because I knew your master. See, I knew he knew him. One wonders just how similar you might become. Oh. Perhaps this is where a ronin such as you belongs. Whoa. Today, victory is mine. Hey, guy, he's gonna get away. Long live the Empire. Oh, he's about to... they about to jump. No, they didn't make it. Dang. Dang. You gotta call on the whales. <laughs> and hope for luck yet again. Big blue guy got away. We'll see him again. Most likely in, you know, that Dave Filoni, uh, what, new Star Wars film. Oh my god, I totally forgot about Shen and Balin. Oh, Balin's with these people. Oh no, he's not. Whoa. 
Why does that look familiar? Who is that? That face on that rock looks incredibly familiar. I don't know why it's not clicking. Shot after shot. The bad guy wins. Approaching Dathomir, we're in Admiral. Dathomir. Whoa. A war is on the way. Oh, he got out of there. Ezra got out of there. Oh, we're gonna get a reunion. <laughs> Chopper knows. I think Chopper knows. <laughs> Chopper does know it's Ezra. <laughs> Ezra? Oh, everyone can believe. Hi, Hera. This story is real. Mm -hmm. There's your proof, Hera. Hug, 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 hug. <laughs> yeah. Dang, man, I want more of that scene. With uh, Ezra, Ezra back, he can now relay the bad news that Thrawn is here. You did well, did I? You used the Force. Thrawn got away, and thanks to you, Ezra got home. Right? It's time to move on. Ahsoka's well, seeing, you know, the good side of it all. What is it? What does she see? Nothing. What? Just shadows in the starlight. Shadows in the starlights? I will say this. A lot of times throughout this season, Sabine will think about saying something and just not say it. <laughs> and that's another case. Okay, what are you seeing now, Ahsoka? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> is that it? That is. Look at Rick back at it again. Man. Highly enjoyed. But obviously this is not the end of the story. The question is, is there an after credit scene? I don't think there is. But the question is, what's next? What is next? And there you guys have it. Ahsoka finale has been reeled in. What did you guys think about this episode? Sound off in the comments down below. What did you guys think about my, my reaction? As always, share your opinions, whether it's the negative, the bad about this episode. Share it all. For me, I enjoyed this finale. I think it sticks the landing. Um, to be honest, this is a, a good Disney Plus show. I mean, comparing it with the Marvel Disney Plus shows and the, the other Star Wars Disney Plus shows, I think this is uh, another great one on Disney Plus. Not only that, out of all the Star Wars Disney Plus shows that we have gotten, I think this one holds up really well um, with the likes of Mandalorian Season 1 and Andor Season 1. And now we have Ahsoka Season 1 right up there on top of it all. Um, I don't know which is better, Andor or the show. I highly enjoyed Ahsoka this season. Um, I'm a big Rebels fan. You guys knew this well before we reeled in these episodes. And as a Rebels fan, I think this show does that, you know, that animated show justice. Um, but I can't really speak for the people that did not watch the Rebels. I don't know how this show feels for a person uh, you know, finishing Ahsoka without having, you know, any knowledge of what happened with, you know, all the seasons with Rebels. But for me personally, I think this show nails it. Um, I had a blast reeling these in. Um, I was always left with a smile on my face, seeing the whole Ghost crew, seeing Anakin once again, uh, seeing Ahsoka and Anakin, you know, interact with each other uh, one last time. Plus, you know, you close out this whole season with the last shot of Anakin. Um, but yeah, Sabine was great. I think all the actors and actresses that played the live action versions of these animated characters that we grew up on, I think they did a really good job. Um, speaking on this finale, obviously Thrawn has gotten away and I have no idea what's next, 
but that's up for all of us to theorize uh, with the coming months, years, because I have no idea when this um, Star Wars film directed by Dave Filoni will be coming out, but I'm pretty sure it's going to connect everything that we have seen in Ahsoka, everything that we have seen in The Mandalorian, um, and the Book of Boba Fett, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be an Avengers Endgame level event with people that we have seen in The Mandalorian, people that we have seen in Book of Boba Fett, um, our cast, our ghost crew that we have seen, including Zeb, um, that we have seen in this show, all coming together to fight Thrawn. The question is, how will Sabine and Ahsoka get out of this galaxy and return to their galaxy? Um, hopefully it's just in time. Um, but Ezra is now back at home and the reunion with Hera, I love that. I wish we got a little bit more of that, but seeing Chopper all happy, um, yeah, man, I cannot wait to see what's next. I mean, yeah, the fight scenes throughout this show have been good and they were good here in this finale. Um, a lot of people's predictions did in fact come true with this finale, but a lot of predictions did not. So I want to know, did your prediction come true? Did it not? Sound off in the comments down below. Um, but for me, I was one that pointed out that, you know, these troopers, they were, I was, I, I thought they would be a case with Maroc, you know, being controlled by, you know, the grandmothers. But it wasn't the case just yet. They were, you know, humans underneath the mask. Next thing you know, they are zombified troopers by the end of this finale, which was so cool to see. But seeing Ezra have the talk with Hu Yang creating his lightsaber and then also the mention of Kanan and how Hu Yang has a connection with Kanan, that was great too. Um, watching them come together, watching Sabine use the Force finally. I feel like, do, do you guys feel like that scene is earned? For me, I think it is a little bit. I don't think it isn't. You know what I'm saying? I think a little, a part of me is saying that it happened too fast, but... It happened at the end of this episode, end of this season, so I'll let it slide. But I'm just glad it didn't happen, you know, in the previous episodes because that would have been way too quick. I think I mentioned that in my um, one of my reactions a long time ago. But to see her use the Force was such a cool moment. But um, her pushing Ezra onto, you know, the base, that was, that was a wild moment too, but... Yeah, I enjoyed this finale here. I reeled it in. I don't know what the next Star Wars show is coming out. I know what, Alkalit or something? Is that how you pronounce it? It's, I know it's that one, and then there's a Skeleton Crew. I think it's only those two that have been confirmed, and I'm pretty sure season four of The Mandalorian too as well, and then by the time everything has wrapped up, we'll get that Dave Filoni Star Wars film. So there are plenty more Star Wars uh, episodes and seasons to reel in down the road. So hopefully you guys join me here. I reel it in reactions, and hopefully you guys enjoy these reaction videos. The busy week continues. We got Gen V episode four plus the premiere of Loki all dropping on Thursday night. So you guys can expect those reactions. But I enjoyed Ahsoka, and hopefully you guys did too. But yeah. I can't wait to read your guys' comments, uh, what you guys think about this show, but I enjoyed it here. Um, I was not worried at all with this show sticking the landing, but a part of me was wondering, can this show stick the landing? And it did, and I reeled it in, and I had a blast. May the force be with you all. This is Reel It In Reactions. I'm Reel It In Miles. I'll catch you guys in the next Star Wars reaction, or the next TV show reaction, or the next movie reaction. I'm signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction video. Peace.